around this area, it resembles a lot. It shows the true definition of, to me, a warrior, somebody who's tough, been through it rough. You know, a lot has changed over the years that I've grown up here. You know, the Elias is much different than what it was before. But, you know, it, it really shows me a lot about myself and how I represent myself, how I speak loud. And, you know, talking of speaking loud, I'm the type of person that I wear my emotions on my sleeves and I don't hide that at all. I'm not afraid to admit that I always have to tell people how I feel, especially if I'm right. You know, sometimes I could be wrong and, you know, it'll take me a little time to realize it, but I'm very understanding. I, I, I'll admit to my faults. That's one thing I give myself credit, you know, and um, to piggyback off of that, it reminds me of me being banned last year. And I just want people to understand, you know, you stand for what's right. No matter what organization it is, you know, not saying not to respect, but show respect and show sportsmanship. And that's one thing I can say. I try my best to show the best sportsmanship. Sometimes I could get a little angry, but like I said, you got to understand the area I grew up from and the mentality and the way I was taught with, you know, being, a, being, being an aggressor, you know, that's, I just came up. It's like, I like to stand for me and I like to speak for myself. And if I feel I'm right, I'm right. But you know, to, like I said, me being suspended was the worst thing that's ever happened. Me being banned, it, you know, it set me back. And it set me back in so many ways that I've learned to realize that, you know, sometimes it's not worth it speaking your mind. Especially when it comes to the sport, the best way to speak your mind is to show to prove it to them with your hands and your skills and your talent. It just made me a better person and made me realize that how much I love this sport, you know. It doesn't give a right for any organization. I feel, in my opinion, they may say otherwise, that they should determine whether a player should play for a year, shouldn't play for a year, two years. I think they should have some type of criteria where they can figure out um, punishments or penalties, you know, like the NBA, uh, NHL, you know, fines or whatever. I mean, fines may be a little overdoing it, but you know, they get where I'm coming from with that. You know, like some type of system where players could get suspended for a game or two or a tournament or two nothing where they're banned for years but you know I'm grateful for the some of the organizations that did allow me to play you know and Richie was one of them and uh, Richie's an amazing guy he's the one that throws the battle of the gladiators not only that he's to me he's like the father of us in Castle Hill he takes care of his peoples he takes care of his community he gets back to his community I want to lead by example I don't want people to think that I'm a negative person, I'm not, you know, when you get to know me, I'm down to earth, you know, and like I said, I come from a background where things were tough and guys taught me how to be tough. Yeah, eventually over the years, you start to feel it. I've been playing this game for, what we're going on now, started competitively. I say I started at 14, 15 years old. Started off, I grew up, I was born and raised here. A lot of people, mistaken and say that I'm from the Bronx, not from the Bronx, from the low east side, born and raised. People underestimate my game and there's, you know, certain individuals that I laugh about it because I find it funny because they feel like they get to my head. They feel like, you know, like it's, it really bothers me. What bothers me is that people have doubt in me. And one thing I don't like is being doubted. So this is where it goes. I'm gonna mention who I feel. Joe Ma, I'm coming for you. You're, you're a Philly shooter. You're an amazing killer. You got that killer instinct, but I don't think you have the heart of a champion. That's just my opinion. If you feel some type of way, we could do something about it. You could call me out, we could play singles. And the whole Philly squad, you guys always show me love. That's one thing I'm not gonna take from you, but there's one thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a statement in your town or wherever it is, I just want y'all to know something. He's may beating me. He may have me up 3-1. But let's think about championships and winnings. He's never won a singles tournament. I've won two. Open. Beating two of the two of the top players in the finals. Timbo one. Kadeem two. You know? So I mean I don't I guess I have to prove to y'all I'm just a better player than him overall. Uh, statistically. But you know, I give y'all I, I give y'all credit, you know, y'all show loyalty, y'all, you know, y'all stick by your, your crew, y'all never let them down sometimes. 
other than that, like I said, I'm gonna make a statement. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make sure that you guys know I mean business when it comes to playing this guy. All Jomar does is shoot. And Jomar's weakness for me is, you know, stopping him from shooting. If I could keep him from shooting and make him miss a couple shots in a row and he'll lose his confidence, that's it. I'm gonna smoke him. Migs, Migs is another one. He's been uh here and there, low key, he's been throwing a little shade at me or whatever. Other than Migs, he's not, to me, he's a brush off. I'm not really too worried about him. Migs is another one, he's a very great competitor. He's been playing great ball. He's been placing a lot. Not getting first place like I've had, but you know what I mean? He's been doing his thing and, you know, he's been calling me out and throwing me a little bit under the bus here and there, only because he wants, he really wants to play me. So I know they got a lot of weaknesses. I know Migs could run. But can he keep running? You know, now I'm one of those type of players. I'm gonna keep throwing angles, lobs. I'm not just gonna drive the ball. So his weakness, to me, honestly, I think is his right hand, and that's his dominant hand. His left hand is much stronger than his right hand, and that's, you know, that's great, but you're a righty. You're supposed to dominate with your right, not your left. And for Jomar, it looks like that time has come, and like I said, I'm gonna be ready, I'm gonna be training, and whenever these guys are ready, those are my two main targets. I'm coming for you guys and I'm coming strong.